Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. Today I have the reading for July. Um, what is coming toward your, your love reading for? Um, this is Leo, Zodiac sign of Leo. This is your love reading for July 2024. Alright, I'm trying to get these finished up. Yeah, I know it's a little bit late, but uh, I'm very busy. Okay, so we're going to see what's coming in for Leo's. Um, first, I'd like to say this video is not made for kids. If you're under the age of 18, please click off now. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload, when I upload another video. Also, be respectful of the comments. Don't come in trolling because you'll be booted out. And this channel is my brand. You do not have permission to copy it for any reason. Let's get started. Don't forget about my cup. The link is in the description box down below. I hope you manifest good luck and money, love, and health. You can text me for a personal reading. I'm running a $10 special. And, um, yeah, $10 special for three, uh, three questions. All right, show me what's coming in and love for Leo for July 2024. Uh, look at that. That fell out again. Show me Leo for July 2024. Leo for July 2024. Show me Leo for July 2024. And I work directly with Spirit. Spirit pulls the cards or tell me which cards to pull. All right, I've been a tarot card reader for 30 years. 30 plus years, let's put it that way. All right. All right, so here we have four cards. I read from past, present, to future. Here we have the lover's card. It looks like someone has sex on the brain. This is what the lover's card uh, usually means. doesn't mean they don't want you. doesn't mean they're not into you, but it means that they want that first. So if that's what you're wanting, cool, that's fine. But if not, then don't let anyone use you for that. Because it doesn't mean it won't be a good relationship because the angel's here. But it means that they want that first. That's what they have in mind first. So if you're not into that, then I would hold off on, you know, doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, so be careful with that. And then we have the... Um, Seven of Cups in the reverse. And the upright, this represents uh, a lot of opportunities coming in. But it looks like your opportunities are in stagnation for some reason. And that's mainly because Mercury Retrograde is here. I'm also an astrologist, so I know a lot about the planets. And you'll hear me talk about the planets as well. But Mercury Retrograde will be here in August. But we always feel the effects of it in July. Or starting in July. Because we have like two weeks of time that where you start feeling it. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of opportunities are in stagnation. You're not, not sure what to do. Here is the, not sure what to do. Here is the two of swords representing not sure which direction to take in love or in other things for that matter. You're at a crossroads, um, a little bit turbulent times and deep in your mind about stuff. You see that the roads represent you're at a crossroads, you're in stagnation. You're not sure if I should take this one or that one. Uh, um, you know, maybe you have a love offer which is this one, but you're not sure which direction to take. Okay, so when you get to that point, you're at the crossroads. That's when you stop, meditate, weigh your pros and cons, and see what is better for you. All right, if someone's offering you something, make a list, okay? What are the good qualities and what are the bad qualities? And see what is better for you, what's coming in, or what can they offer? What can they bring to the table? And then weigh out their bad qualities, you know? Sometimes you got to do that. you got to make a list and see... You know, do the good qualities outweigh the bad ones, or do the bad ones outweigh the good ones? All right, so also, and, and then with the crossroads, you know, you see the lady is man or woman, could be the one, depending on who you are, um, is blindfolded, so they can't see their futures because they're still in stagnation, they're at a crossroads, so they don't know which road to take. Now, remember, these cards don't stay this way, this, these are court cards, the energies always flip. Once this one flips, it means you've made a decision on what you want to do, and then you're going to go in that direction, so you got to get to that point, Leo, you got to make a decision on what you want to do, and then follow that path. All right, make sure it's always a good one. Pray, meditate, bring everything forth, okay? Whatever you speak of your mouth is what's going to come. All right, that's why I tell people, be careful what you say because words are very powerful. Spirits are always listening. The universe can hear you, and, and you're manifesting, okay? If you want to manifest things, good things to come in, then you got to speak those. If you always say, I'm broke, you're always going to be broke, okay? It's the same concept, okay? If you always say, oh, I'm alone, I'm alone, you're always going to be alone. All right, so start manifesting. Start calling in the good stuff so it can come to you. 
All right. Here we have the Ace of Swords again. Stagnation. Um, in the upright, this represents uh, victory. Okay, but it's a double-edged sword. That means it flips back and forth. And right now, there's no victory. Why? Because you're in stagnation with all this stuff here. I'm seeing that this person here is keeping you in stagnation. There's a person, and if this doesn't resonate with you, then it wasn't meant for you. Remember, this is general. If you want a personal reading that re resonates more with you, then text me, and you can get on that $10 special that I'm having. Three questions for $10. That's really, really good, y'all. All right. All right. And, uh, and then that will resonate more with you. So this is general. This is according to, um, you know, what's around you, your energies around you, what your situation is. So I'm seeing a lot of stagnation here for Leo until you finally make a decision of what you want to do, where you want to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then your life will start moving forward. Do not travel, Leo, in August because of... Um, uh, Mercury retrograde will be here, and Mercury retrograde causes mechanical breakdowns. So there'll be cars that have mechanical breakdowns that break down, planes, trains, whichever means that you're traveling by. Be careful in August because I'm seeing car crashes, I'm seeing plane crashes, and things like that. So be careful with that. Don't sign any major contracts either in August because I'm seeing you making a mistake. Uh, maybe you didn't read the fine print or something like that. So um, you're like, well, I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember reading that. Okay. Because Mercury retrogrades makes us forgetful or it makes us miss things. All right. So don't sign any major contracts and be careful with travel. Okay. And if you're at a crossroads in your life, uh, think about what you really, what, what does your heart desire? Think about what you truly want to do and where you truly want to be in the next year or so. And then move in that direction. You know, do you want more education? Do you want a better job? Do you want a better love life? What is it that you want to do? Because I'm seeing someone here in a crossroads just doesn't know what to do. So they just stand still and do nothing. All right? And you don't want that. All right? So always always move forward with, um, with your decision. And if there's someone that doesn't serve you for your higher good, it could be this one, leave them in the past. Let them go. Close the door. The universe never opens new doors until you close a door, and then it'll open new ones for them to come in. But as long as you're hanging on to something that's not good for you, the universe is not going to bring nothing in. Let go of what no longer serves you for your higher good so you can move forward. All right, so the universe can bring you good things in. All right, y'all, that was for Leo. Love reading for July 2024. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. Text me if you want in on the $10 special. Order my cup. The link is in the disclaimer box down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.